8 anime facts that everyone should accept. Well, let's run it. Black Clover has the best demon or devil designs, and nah, if you want my opinion, they're honestly a bit boring. This should go to Chainsaw Man. Fujimoto be crafting monstrosities that you would normally see in Berserk or Claymore. It's actually amazing. Subaru suffered the most physically and psychologically, and I guess you could say that. But hey, Diavolo got trapped in an infinite death loop, and that's pretty terrible. And then you also got Agni from Fire Punch, who had to live every waking day of his life in a constant state of burning and regeneration. And that's like next level suffering. Johan is the best manipulator, and I mean he's great, but my answer for this will always be Aina Koji. And you can call this Glaze or whatever, but this is my train of thought as someone who understands his character exceptionally well. You put Aina Koji in the same situations as any other manipulator later and he will be getting the job done. The difference is, is that Aina Koji always stays cool, calm, and collected, even under the most intense of pressures, and he doesn't have an ego because he's constantly indifferent. So he never fall into those same traps the other manipulators fall into, but Lelouch is also a fair answer. Gojo is the most overrated character, and hot take, but I'm giving this to Naruto. But you know, I love his character. He was the foundation of my childhood, but over time, other characters just took his place. So Naruto is great, sure, but I don't think he's a top 10 MC or anything. Luffy embodies freedom better than Eren. And well, yeah, because Eren represents false freedom, so of course he does. Kid Buu being the most evil villain is interesting, and I kind of agree. I mean, this guy literally went to heaven just to run the fade with his ops, which is petty as hell. But Griffith is also an acceptable answer. Apart from Kaguya, Sakura is the strongest female character in Naruto. And you know, I totally agree with this, but somehow she still remains useless carrying into Boruto. Like, real talk, where the hell was Sakura when Sasuke turned into a tree? And finally, Speedwagon is the most loyal anime character of all time. And it's a pretty fair take because his foundation literally carried the Joestar family for six respective parts. But after the nothing happened moment, it would be criminal if I didn't shout out Zoro in the loyalty category as well.